Hi and welcome back to another video from Effective Dashboards. In this video I'll be continuing on from the previous video on the smart narrative visualization but in this video I'll be showing you how I think you could integrate this into your dashboard. Okay so in the previous video I'll leave a link above and um, in the text below I explained a little bit about how the smart narrative works and how you could integrate that into a dashboard or how you can actually use it in a dashboard to create some narrative around your data. Now one of the things that immediately sprung to mind, particularly if you're using it retrospectively on dashboards which have already been designed and configured and the real estate is really something that you've thought about and you've you've added visualizations in to um to with the real estate in mind. So it's really unlikely you're gonna have a big a big white area or a big area that you can actually go and add that new visualization into. So I'm going to show you an option. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to add the smart narrative in. So all we do is press, make sure, first of all, make sure we've, we don't have anything selected. So let's, yep, and then press the smart narrative button. So here's it just across here. So this button here, and we'll press that. And we'll see that that should generate a smart narrative. Here's it coming here. Okay, so I'm also going to go in and I'm going to go and add in a background. And I'm going to make that 0% transparent. Right, so we can see here we've got the smart narrative. I've talked through the information here in the previous video, so I'm not going to go through that again. And we've decided that we do want that smart narrative to be here because it is giving us some useful insights. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take it along the edge here. And I'm going to spread it down at the page. And there's quite a lot of information in there. And what I'm going to do there is I'm going to use bookmarks. Now, some of you may already understand this and may have used it before, and I think it's a quite a, 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 really, a really handy feature. So we're going to go and use a bookmark that's going to toggle this smart narrative on and off. Now, we're looking here, and I've, and I've put it in this position here for a reason. The first, the, the key reason here is that this information here, remaining backlog, remaining backlog, it, that's referring to these charts here. And then we've got production, which is referring to the the the, the bar charts here, uh, which is the bat log remaining hours, and then we've got our um, production, yeah, accounts for fifty one percent of the remaining hours. So it's all around about the um, the values here. Now there's a couple of things I want to add in as well. I did add it in the previous one, and I've taken it back out. But you would probably want to put in here some headers. So I'll pause the video and put in some headers. But I'll do the first one, just a reminder. So you click at the start here, or navigate to the start, add a return, and then we're going to say it's alpha. Because that refers to the alpha site. And then we're going to say this one's bravo, etc. So I'll just add that information in. Okay, so I've added some headers in here, and what I've also realized is that when it switches to looking at the charts, it switches back to alpha again at the top there. So, yeah, there's a definite issue with identification of this text here back to a, a particular visualization, particularly when you use it in this mode here where we're, we're, we're consolidating all of the commentary that the smart narrative thinks is relevant. But anyway, um, that's a, a, side, a slight side issue here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go in and I'm going to go to view and I'm going to view the bookmarks and we can see we've got a load of bookmarks here, I've already created a few for this and I'm going to add one in here and I'm going to call this one here um, what's the name of the, the page, it's called Batlog with SM smart nar, nar and then I'm going to go in here and I'm going to click on here and I'm going to update that 
Okay, I've got data displayed because I want all of the, the, the data filters to be exactly as they are just now. The display is fine. The current page, I want to keep on that. So I'm just going to update that. And then I'm going to go back in here. And I'm going to add in another one. Call this one here. So I'm going to rename this one. And I'm going to call it Batlog with no nar. Right, and then I'm going to go in here and we're going to activate this selection up at the top here. And I'm going to go and this has become a text box, so I'm just going to rename that Smart Narrative. And I'm going to go in here and I'm going to hide that sign here. Let's get that rid of that. Yep, right. Okay, so I'm going to hide this narrative. And I'm going to go and update this. Okay, so that's the two, two bookmarks. That bookmark there, if I click on it, is going to show us the smart narrative. And this bookmark is going to hide it. And then all it needs now is a couple of buttons. One to show it and one to hide it. So let's go and create a button for showing the narrative. Okay, so I can hide some of these because I don't need them. Um, I don't need the bookmarks anymore. Don't need these, don't need these. Just get a little bit of space here so we can make it a little bit easier to see. So if we're going to go up to the top here and I'm going to go to this insert image. I'm going to go in here. I'm going to select this narrative button here. And I'm just going to, there's a little space up here that that will fit nicely into. I'm just going to stick it in there, and I'm just going to add that in there. Okay, that looks like a narrative, some lines and stuff. So then if I go to from image, I'm going to go to action. So I did cover this relatively recently on a, on a video. So it should be fairly, if you've looked at that, it should be fairly straightforward. And then we're going to put a bookmark, and this is going to put the bookmark to show the narrative, which should be in here, backlog with smart. Nar. Okay, so I'm going to call this show and then we're going to go and just test that. So hold down control and we can see that it's shown it. Now the other thing it's done here is it's actually shown this filters here. So I just need to go and look at the bookmark again because I want the filters to be hidden. Okay, so I need to bookmark this, um, this state here because that's captured as part of the data. So if I go back to the uh, with smart narrative and I'm just going to update that I mean I'll just make sure that the no smart narrative has got the filters hidden as well so I'm just going to click on that yeah we'll hide the filters here so it's one thing just remember that the filter pane expanded or hidden is captured as part of this um, this data section so make sure that you hide it if you don't want it shown so let's click on control and just make sure that's working now we can see it's shown here so we could put a board around this and a few other bits and pieces of format and i'm not going to do that just now so the other thing we'll do is we'll we'll hide this button here um and the reason i'm going to do that is because we're going to change that so we'll go back into our selection and i'm going to change that image name and the image is going to be called narrative icon <clears throat> and as part of so when this is shown we want to hide the narrative icon okay and i'm just going to update the uh, with smart narrative i'm just going to update that again update and what i'm going to do is i'm going to put another image on here so in essence what it's going to do is it's going to look like the button is morphed into this other button here which is a, a button we're going to use you know hopefully that will fit into there without too much hassle uh, let's get that in there like that um yeah i don't want it to overlap the other one at the top right so that is going to sh be shown i'm just going to Rename that to hide hide icon, and that's going to be shown. 
So we'll go back in again and uh, with Smart Narrative and we'll just make sure that's updated. Update. And then for the, with no Smart Narrative, that should hide that bookmark. And we've now got two bookmarks there, but I want to hide the one which says hide. Just show that one with no smart narrative. So it's just a little bit of playing about with the with the with the icons and the the selection pane, and making sure that everything is shown when it's supposed to be shown and hidden when it's supposed to be hidden. So let's um, let's now go and assign an action to this, which is going to be in fact did I do it before bookmark? Yeah. So that's um, backlog with smart narrative is going to be this one here, and if I click on here. Click on the other bookmark, click on here, and that action is going to activate the backlog with no smart narrative. So let's click on a bookmark. Um, backlog, no narrative. And then we'll just put here, hide narrative. Right. So let's just um, make sure that all works. So we can get rid of this. We can get rid of this, we can get rid of this, and we can just click somewhere on the screen to take the focus off of this. So, if we click on here, it's going to hide it. If we click on here, it's going to show it. And like I say, we could we could put a border around here, maybe even change the text colour slightly, the background, etc. Um, just so that it made it look a, li a little bit of a distinction. Um, you can even put a shadow in here, that might be quite useful. Uh, let's just... A couple of things here. Uh, put a border on. I'll give it a background. Uh, we've got a little bit transparent there. Uh, just that background's fine. That just makes it a little bit make it, makes it look a little bit neater. Okay, so hopefully that has give you an idea about if you did want to use a smart narrative, how you can actually integrate it in and make sure that you can toggle between showing it and hiding it. And that's if you don't have any real estate and you want to add this to an existing report. Right, so thanks for listening and I will, if you, if you like this video, give it a thumbs up. If you like to subscribe, then press the subscribe button and press the bell to be kept up to date with the latest videos, which I release around once a week. And I'll talk to you in the next video.